So imagine you're hanging out at home one day and you get a phone call from a police officer. And he tells you, hi, I'm a detective and I've been investigating you for a series of crimes and we want you to come down and make a statement. You have no idea what he's talking about. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna talk to him? Or are you going to remain silent? My name's Colin McCallan uh, with the law firm of Hebbets and McCallan. And in this video, we're gonna talk about whether or not you have an affirmative duty to speak to a police officer. Uh, this is actually a pretty simple question. Uh, the one thing that you do have to provide a police officer if you are contacted by one is your identifying information. So if a police officer approaches you and asks for your ID, asks for your uh, name, your address, yep, those are things that you have to provide. But that's it. You, whether you are a uh, suspect, a victim of a crime, or a witness to a crime, you will never ever be any under any obligation to speak to the police, to make a statement, you don't have to. Um, some people often say, well, wait a minute, if I haven't done anything wrong, why wouldn't I cooperate fully? Why wouldn't I uh, speak to this police officer and make my statement, maybe clear my name? Fair point. The problem is, is if you're being targeted by uh, a police officer, these guys think that you've done something wrong. They don't know you. You may know you're innocent. They don't know that they're investigating you. And they often use your statements to bolster their confession. It's one of the easiest tools that they have for investigation. So my general advice to people, um, if you're contacted by a police officer, the less you say, the better. You should remain silent. Less is more in those situations. I'm Colin McCallan. Uh, check out our Facebook page for more Hebbets and McCallan content, as well as our podcast, Is This Legal? Question mark, wherever you get your podcasts.